Shalom Aleichem. So thankful and happy to have this wonderful, great, amazing opportunity to speak with you, holy, holy souls and wonderful people. There is nothing that is better than the great love and great connection that we have. People who are truly seeking and looking for goodness, looking for the truth to be revealed. People who are willing and accepting the truth, willing to find the truth, willing to admit the truth when we are wrong. Real truth seekers joining together with one purpose. And if you think I'm uh, praising you for no reason, so be honest with yourselves and just ask yourself, why am I here? Why am I watching those Rabdro talks? Why am I listening and following this kind of content? If not for the great search of your holy soul that is desiring the truth with no end and willing always to find the truth and to sacrifice for the truth and even to admit in our faults, in our mistakes. I um, I found a very, very deep and amazing book. I have not uh, prepared myself for reading from it. It's called Ma'amar HaGeula LaRamchal. It's a Ma'amar, how you say Ma'amar? It's a book about the redemption, um, the, uh, the essay, the conversation, a talk about the redemption by the Ramchal. The Ramchal was a very righteous and known and famous name, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato, very righteous and very pure, had a lot of um, arguments on him while he was alive, many people, um, fought with him and were not willing to learn from him but against all odds and was swimming against the stream revealed a lot a lot of light and um, many many books he left for us and um, let's see i'm gonna translate a bit and we'll talk a little bit more so he's saying bringing the verse Telling the enemy, don't be happy that I fell because I'm standing back up again. Even when I sit in the darkness, Adonai Orli, God is a light for me. A verse from Micha, the prophet. This verse is telling the secret of the trust, confidence of Israel and their hope that they will be redeemed, complete redemption, fast in our days. Amen. To the redemption, we found many preparations and huge works that should be done, known to the wise ones who tried to walk in the paths of wisdom and stood and understood its truth. What is he talking? Soon, hopefully, we will find out. When the wisdom will spread in the world, then everyone will see how great was the kindness that the Creator did with us. Because when the nation of Israel thought to themselves that the Creator hid his face from them and left them. In that time, he was preparing for them a great blessing and goodness, because then he was preparing for them great treasures that their measure has no end and their greatness cannot be described. And in those treasures, he put every kind of great and satisfying precious fortune and all the unique things that only kings can enjoy from in every time and every hour until those treasures
were filled, completely filled. When the treasures are filled, then the salvation is coming. In a way that the mouth cannot speak, the ear cannot hear, and the heart cannot even think and wonder. And when the time of the great rest that is future to be revealed in the world will come, all the doors, all the openings, all the gates of all those treasures will be opened. And from them will come out all kinds of luxuries and sweetness and will be given to the nation of Israel for their hard work that they worked in their exile. And on that great secret, the verse is saying in Tehilim, Samechenu ki mot initanu shenot ra'inu ra'a. Make us happy for the days that you tortured us, years that we saw bad, that we suffered. Because all the days that the nation of Israel were in the exile and light was not shining upon them, that light that was meant for those days never lost. Just all that light, the Creator, was hiding it in those treasures. He was treasuring it in those treasures that I told you, the Ramchal is saying. And when it will be the right time to open them, then all that light will come out as one. And then there are going to be time for Israel, a time that was never seen like that before. And the whole world will be corrected in peaceful and quiet, and there will be no sorrow in the world at all. And if you want to say that the verse is talking only on the number of years, I don't understand that. Let's see. Excuse me. I need to check something, what he wants to say. And if you want to say that that verse is talking only about the number of years. Okay, so he's saying maybe a person will mistake to think that the exile will be to correct in an equal way to the days of darkness, but it cannot, so let's say that we suffered for um, 2,000 years, so now we need to be paid back for 2,000 years of suffering. Maybe that is it, and we're not talking about an eternal redemption, because the verse is saying, Samechenu ki mot initanu, make us happy, equally to the days that we suffered, as the day that we suffered. So. What the, the Ramchal explained was that the Creator will compensate us for the days of sorrow in an eternal redemption. And he's bringing up this question. And if you want to say that maybe the payment will be only corresponding to the days, means as the number of days that we suffer, that will be the number of days that we will um, be paid will be rewarded. So he's saying there is no way to do something like that. The redemption must be um, an eternal redemption. Why? Because we have Kabbalah. We got that knowledge from our ancestors that the world will exist only 6,000 years of labor and not more. And then after 6,000 years, um, we will uh, be set free completely um, to eternal time of redemption. Um, we know that the Hebrew calendar that, um, that we're counting is today standing on 5,781. This is the number of years to the creation of the world, 5,000 and 781 years from the time of the creation of the world. So for the 
6,000 years, there are only, how much is it? 81, 781, so we have 29, we have 19, excuse me, 19, 219. That's it, 219 years. That's the only time that is the maximum that left for us to stay on Earth. And then 119, correct me, 700, why you say only 100? 5,700, 5,781. Why do you want to make me crazy? What have I done to you that you're going to make me crazy? 5,781. So, like I said, the time that is left is too short for us um, to be paid equally to the years that we suffered. So for that we know that the redemption will be eternal and great. And you should know that the redemption that we redeemed from Egypt and the future redemption means the third one, the last one, are equal in many things. Just that the future one will be greater in many ways. Because then all the creation will find rest as she never found from the first day of creation till now. And here I am explaining to you the matters of the redemption of Egypt and many other manners, manners and issues of the future redemption and you will see the wonders of God. I'm not able, he's saying the Ramchal, to extend and to write a longer essay, even though that the things that we are talking about are great and important, but because of its greatness and its of how much it's precious, we cannot extend too much and we cannot say too much. And I will say only the main thing and most solid and important, and you will try to understand more and to go deep into the wisdom, and it will be revealed to you in greater ways. The redemption, and like that we said many, many times, the redemption is open for the whole world. Everyone on earth will enjoy, like the Ramchal is saying, the whole creation will enjoy the rest and the salvation that will come in the time of redemption. And true believers, are people who understand that the Creator created the world for a real great purpose. And the purpose is that every individual, every one of the creations of Hashem will find his dreams coming true. All of his hopes, all of his prayers will be answered. And there is no other way for the world to be redeemed except for this wonderful, perfect way that all our prayers will be answered, that all our dreams will take place and will happen in front of our eyes. And there is something important that we must remember, that certain things need to be done by us for the redemption to take place. Some of them are acts of kindness and mercy, being nice and good and loving to each other. But as well, we need to know that we meant to express also the power that is installed inside of us and not only the love and the kindness and all the good attributes, also powerful and strong attributes that are including our war to protect the weak and not to surrender to evil. And those are things that people in our weak generation are find, finding very hard um, to understand. 
many of us, we are too tired from wars and from fights and from arguments. And we're rather to bend our heads and to allow even unpleasant things to take place in our lives because that the war and the struggle became so bitter and so painful for us to experience. So by surrendering to those evil powers, we're letting them keep on abusing and hurting us and others as well. Because when a thief or a robber he finds his crime easy to take place, so he will learn from it that it's okay to go and do the same thing to the next. And then the world becomes a very dangerous place. So I think that it is very important to know that even though that our bodies and our spirits are very weak and tired and we don't have the energy for wars and for battles and arguments for the sake of the weak ones and for the sake of the truth. We should not reveal mercy on cruel people and we should not reveal patience and tolerance against abusive people and people who hurts innocent and soft and kind and helpless people. And we need to fight. We need to find that power inside of us, even though that it's not the ideal vision of our life and war is never something that we desire. But to protect the weak is not something that anyone can exempt himself from. And not to fight for justice and not to stand up to do good things and to defend the ones that are helpless is not something that a person can go to sleep calmly if he knows that he's lack in one of those things. I am um, many times I'm sharing with you stories on conversations that I have with 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 friends of mine, with students of mine. Many, many, many of my friends and followers are very hurt people, very abused and, and very, very broken people. And the main pain of, of people is that they found themselves betrayed and left behind by people that were supposed to be their protective environment, their nature, natural family that was supposed to back them up, or their soulmates or partners to life that betrayed their trust. Those are the worst experiences of people that are shaking the emotional structure of people in the worst way of them all. For that we need to provide the protection to all our surroundings and to stand up strong and stable for them and to be their, their right arm to fight for them and to be their left arm to hug them and to embrace them to be there for them when they need to cry or when they need to share and to stand up for them when they don't have the power to defend themselves. And we should go out of our comfort zone and to fight for our people, for our loved ones, for our neighbors, for anyone that is in need. And this is our main mission. And we need to go all the way and never to surrender. And may Hashem, the Creator, bring the complete redemption in our days. About this question that everyone might have on those couple of hundred of years that still left till the end of 6,000 years. Maybe the redemption will take place only in that time 
only after 6,000 years it will come? So the answer is for sure not. For sure that the redemption will take place earlier. Like that Shabbat, the seventh day, is getting inside, entering in the end of Friday, of the sixth day. But there is a certain time that in that time you not allow to work anymore and you for sure must enter Shabbat and it is already Shabbat and if you do some of the melachot, the works that you cannot do, you are violating Shabbat. So this is the time of 6,000 years. But we are commanded to accept Shabbat earlier as much as we can. Every person should try to accept Shabbat a few minutes earlier or even one hour earlier, as much as we are able to. So of course it is understandable if a person is not able and he must complete all his work till the last moment. So it's okay. When Shabbat comes, we start keeping Shabbat. But ideally, everyone should try to accept Shabbat earlier into the sixth day. So for sure that the Creator, He will help us to accept the seventh thousand of years that is the final redemption earlier and before the end of the 6,000 years of labor. And the best way that can be is that it will happen today. So let's pray and may Hashem show us His wonders and we're going to enjoy the beauty and the greatness of His love in our days. Amen. Can you hear some? Thank you. DMC with the Muna project, all the nations with me. Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring, light up chaos and bring in yourself, yes. They can kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside